Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try one of these real good pizza company pizzas. This one is the three cheese. It has shredded mozzarella and cheddar cheese uh, pizza sauce on an all-natural chicken breast with Parmesan cheese crust. Hmm, all-natural chicken breast. So it's actually on a chicken breast? Gluten-free, grain-free, uh, chicken raised with no antibiotics. I saw these in the Kroger and in Lexington, but I didn't realize that that, that was the same thing this. So this one is, because I look for it, it's like, there's a weird one that they have, it's on a chicken breast. Well, this is it. Um, this was at Kroger, it was $6.99 uh, for the whole thing. So that's uh, for the box. So it's a little expensive, but we'll see. Four grams of carbs, 29 grams of protein. Let's see if there's anything else you need to know. Half the pizza is 240, so that's what, 480. That's not too awfully bad. There's your other information for you. So it does have oven directions, but of course we don't do ovens. We're going to do microwave. Uh, by the way, there's the other stuff what it says. All right. Um, so the microwave, we're going to remove the carton, uh, pizza from the carton and the film, leave it on the cardboard tray and place on a microwave safe plate. I'm just going to put it on a paper plate. The microwave for 315 to 330. I'll probably do the lower end, go 315. And allow it to cool for a one minute. Um, if you want it to be crisper, you could microwave it just like it says and then stick it in a hot pan on the stove top for one or two minutes and that'll kind of crisp it up a little bit. So you could do that if you wanted to if you're at home. Um, but if you're in the microwave, you really can't do much of that. So let's see what this bad boy looks like. So it, it gets rid of the, it's on a chicken breast instead of a pizza crust. Interesting. So I really can't... Um, I can't, I don't have, I can't get that with one hand, but basically I'm going to take the plastic off here, leave it on this cardboard and put it in the microwave and then I'll let you see the bottom and stuff when it comes out. So I'll be right back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave and you can tell it ran over a little bit. <laughs> I mean, a lot. Um, this was for the 315, so uh, I went the lower end of the, the lowest end of the heat. So <laughs> the cheese ran everywhere. So uh, I'm going to cut this up into pieces I can actually eat and let it cool off. But it's a good thing you put it on a plate because that would have made a really bad mess in your microwave. So always make sure you put it on something. So I'll be right back. Okay, it's had a few minutes to cool off. I really, it's been like right out a minute. Um, it's definitely different. <laughs> this is the bottom underneath of it. And you can tell it actually is a piece of chicken. It's, it's uh, It feels um, chewy like you're cutting through a piece of chicken when you're cutting it up. So it's a different, it's a unique idea. It smells like chicken parmesan. So if you've ever made uh, parmesan chicken with cheese and sauce and stuff, that's what it smells like. It's actually what it tastes like too. Um, the chicken has a good texture to it. It's well seasoned. Um, hmm, that's good. It's not, it's not bad by any means. It's actually pretty decent. Just know it's not, they're calling it a, a real pizza and it's a, you know real good pizza, a real pizza you can feel good about. Um, it's really not pizza. The crust is, you can tell it's chicken. It's definitely different than a crust, a uh, dough crust. But that being said, it's a real unique idea to put the chicken um, and the sauce and the cheese um, to press out a piece of chicken like that. That's kind of interesting. I kind of like it. I like chicken parmesan though, so keep that in mind. Um, this would probably be better if you did put it in a skillet and get it like crispy on the bottom. Um, it'd probably taste a lot better because you'd get that little crispness at the bottom. But um, but beyond that, the flavors of the chicken and the sauce and the cheese are really, really good. Um, not something I would eat all the time, uh, but definitely worth trying out if you get these uh, in your local Kroger or wherever. Um, I've never seen them at Walmart or any place like that, but, I, but we did see them at Kroger. So um, yeah, if you get them in your area, I would definitely try them out. I'm, I'm debating what to give this. I don't want to give it a five because it's definitely not like, wow, elevated flavors or anything, but um, it's definitely a unique idea and it's got some good flavors. So I'm gonna give it a four. Definitely one I would recommend you try out. So, so yeah, I'll stick with a four. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.